Let's, let, let's bring in uh, incoming White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer right now, uh, joining us at headquarters of the Republican National Committee. Good to see you, Sean. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So you've uh, hopefully been hearing our conversation. We're talking about calling out individual companies and what the overall policy will be, Sean, in, in terms of the auto industry or any specific industry. You know, he's had a lot of sway so far. A lot of companies are just getting in line. They're saying, yeah, we want to put America first and we're not going to build that plant uh, in, in Mexico. We're going to do more in the U.S. And so kudos to you and the, t the team and Donald Trump for, for actually moving the needle on that. But can he do the same thing with the BMW, a German company? Can he do the same thing in the auto industry where, as Dagan just pointed out, 90 percent of the parts are made overseas? What are you going to do, have a, a, a border tax for every part in a car? Well, we'll see. As you point out, I mean, he's been pretty successful with Boeing, Lockheed, uh, Ford. Uh, uh, I mean, the list starts is getting pretty long. Uh, and so, yeah, he's moving over to foreign automakers as well. Uh, the goal is always going to be to fight for America and fight for American workers. So he's not going to stop and he's going to continue to figure out ways. We'll see. Uh, you know, but but I think this what you're what you are noting is that this infectious nature of companies that want to create jobs and keep either stay here, expand here, or move things back. You saw it with Sprint moving 5,000 jobs back, Amazon announcing their investment here, Alibaba talking about expanding uh, U.S. small businesses' access to the China marketplace. You're going to see continued companies that want to be part of this Trump agenda, Trump philosophy, uh, about creating more jobs and more economic growth here and abroad. And I don't think it's going to stop. It's going to continue to widen. Uh, but I think part of it is, is more and more companies are literally trying to get in the queue and say, I'm willing to commit additional market investment or, or job creation here in the United States because I want to be part of it. That's a great thing. I mean, if you think about it, if you were a worker... Yeah who was potentially going to lose your job, and suddenly you're getting told by your company, hey, because of Donald Trump and his agenda, we're staying. Not only is that good news for you, it's good news for your family, it's good news for your community, and it's good news for the local businesses around you. Uh, this is a really positive sign for so many American workers across this country who have yeah. given up hope. Sean, let me ask you this. I want to switch gears for a second because I was reading something the other day. I want to, I want to find out your plans in terms of uh, the White House. I was reading something whereas the, the Trump administration is going to change the office of the First Lady to the office of the First Family. Well, I, I, no decisions and no announcements have been made, but I think for the first time, um, I will say that you're going to have a very active um, family. There's so many of these of his sons and daughters that, I mean, I think Don and Eric very clearly are going to be off running the business, but I think you've got Ivanka and Jared um, who are going to play, uh, continue to play a role in Washington, D.C., and so we'll see. Yeah, stay right there, Sean. We'll be right back with more of Sean Spicer. Stay with us.